celebration in the little village of Zimbabwe in central Mozambique. The rains have been good this year, and so far at least, there have been no floods. The villagers live in the delta of one of Africa's great rivers, the Zambezi. It's a vast, remote area with few roads and hundreds of low-lying islands. The river itself is the main highway. Fish are plentiful and the soil is rich. It's a great area for farming, but everyone here knows that the Zambezi can't be trusted, especially in recent years. <laughs> When the waters of the Zambezi are high, it can irrigate the fields and it can produce good food. But if it gets too high, the water can be dangerous and kill people. So water can feed you or it can kill you. Water is good, but it also can be a danger. Over the past decade, Mozambique has suffered from an unprecedented series of massive scale floods. In 2000, the Limpopo Valley was underwater. But since then, the area worst affected has been the Zambezi Delta, where thousands of villagers lost their houses, their animals and their crops in four years of serious flooding. In the time of the floods, everything was underwater, including the house and the fields. The animals died. At the time of the floods, this island was underwater. The water was 20 to 50 centimetres high. It came up to here. You never know when the floods are coming. There's no warning. They come suddenly. But if that happens, I need to just take what I can and leave. And the reason for all this, say the government, is that Mozambique is suffering from climate change, with the sea level rising and floods becoming ever more frequent. Normally the floods occur every 10 years. At least that's what's happened for the past 100 years. From December and January of 2006, 7 and 8, we had floods occurring in the same place in the Zambezi Valley, and that's abnormal. Rising sea level and flooding thanks to climate change has become a global problem, and the Mozambique government's solution is an extraordinary program of social engineering. Over the past three years, 55,000 families, around a quarter of a million people, have been persuaded to move from the Delta Lowlands to 55 new resettlement villages built on higher ground that's safe from flooding. <laughs> 